Hi guys, Brendan from TAT. Um, today I just want to show you use of a first look sensor. If you've never heard that, um, you might want to come along to the training. We've still got um, available this Friday and Saturday in Toowoomba. Um, and anyone who has been, this will be a quick refresher of where you might use it. Okay, so I've got a Ford Escape here, a 3 litre V6. Um, cold start misfires, they say. Um, been to the dealer and they played around with some coils. Um, I believe it's had the coils replaced. Um, they believed that it was going to be on one of the front bank cylinders and they've, they've played around swapping the coils and got to the point of changing them. Didn't fix it um, and they gave up at that point as far as I know. So it's come here. Um, the first thing I saw is the coolant's low, cold start misfires, so we start thinking possible kind of head gasket issue. Talking to her, she says it hasn't overheated or anything like that, but um, it dictated the kind of test I'm going to do, so I thought let's use the first look sensor going in the exhaust, um, because if we do get misfires, I want to know which cylinder it is. This scan tool doesn't have misfire monitoring. Um, there's nothing I could extract through OBD2, um, uh, sorry, um, mode 6 or anything like that. So if it does miss, I'm going to have no idea which cylinder it is. So our first thing is to work out which cylinder is misfiring. So I'll show you my setup and show you the capture that we've got. Okay, so I'm using my scope, two channels. Um, channel A, I've got an attenuator. So every 10 volts that goes in, only one volt comes out to the scope. Now that's going down. Um, to the easiest coil that I could get to. So this is number six coil and I'm back probed into the control side. Um, so we've got that attenuator because we'll have a big back EMF coming out of this so we don't want to go in our scope. The second channel, um, we've got going from a BNC cable just to the back of the car. So this is a pulse sensor. Um, so this is just connected to a hose that's then going in the exhaust and um, when it gets started it's going to register all the exhaust pulses and we're looking for um, one that um, has a, a negative deviation. If you want to get deep into that, you'll have to come along to the course. So I'll show you what we've got on the scope. So the thing had already been started. We only got one shot at it. Misfired for about five seconds or so and then cleared out. Um, so the red is our pressure pulses and the blue is our spark events. So we're just going to go into one of these. Um, so these two spark events here are number six um, spark occurring. Now there's a tool that you can get on the um, TAP website. So if you download the waveform overlay tool, um, which, you know, let's go in very easily, we can get to that. So I'll show you where you can find it. Get rid of all my tabs that are going to come up. So if we go to the diagnostic programs, you'll find there's heaps of different programs in here. So if you've never been in, there's a whole world to explore. But the one that you're trying to get to is going to be the waveform overlay tool, which lives down here. So waveform overlay tool, tiny little program, you download it. Um, I've already got it, so we'll open it up. All you gotta do is put in your firing order, which in this case I know is 142536. Uh, and then you tell it which coil you've gone in to synchronize. So at the moment I'm back probed into coil six. So I'm syncing off coil six makes this chart shows you where everything in the um, every piston is in its four stroke cycle so while number six is on power exhaust intake compression um, number one is actually on compression at that stage and then goes through power exhaust intake so it makes it a lot easier for us to overlay that if we go to our bad one as simple as lining up the spark event and then dragging this across so we're lined up that edge and this edge on our spark event and then we're simply just going to go see which cylinder it is that's on um, its exhaust stroke in this anomaly here. So again, I'm not going to get into why we're looking at, at this negative pulse here. You'll have to come to the course and the guys that have will know that we're looking for that negative pulse. So this one here is what stands out. And if we go up, we see that it's cylinder one that's on its exhaust at that point. So cylinder one is the guy that I believe is misfiring. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to go, you do have to take the manifold off, so I'm going to have to call and say, hey, are you happy to spend some money to pull the manifold off? But I believe um, we at least know that we're going in there, we're going to test the coil, um, we're going to look for coolant in cylinder and see what we've got. So we've got confirmation now, we've got a head gasket leak um, creeping into the cylinder. Um, so nice easy way to get to it and we, you know, if it was a very hard manifold to get off you would want the confidence or say if we were doing something on you know, a V8 Land Cruiser where it's near impossible to get to um, in cylinder quickly. So by using this method we get that confidence. 
if anyone's interested in doing this course, so this Friday we've got a basic scope course and this Saturday the um, pressure advanced one where we'll look at stuff like this, that's in Toowoomba. So if anyone's around that Toowoomba region and I'm um, free this weekend, um, just let us know and, and we'll sign you up and you can head along to um, learning some of this and hopefully you'll be able to put it into action. Thanks guys.